Hey, welcome back to What Jen Ren Scraps. This is Jen Ren. I'm here today with a, a complete walkthrough through this journal I made for Kara Branding Creations Design Team. It is in a shabby chic style, and it this journal is going to be called Blissful Blooms. It will be in my Etsy shop. Um, it is using Kara Brandon Creations um, Blushing Blooms and some of her Valentine's Day kits. It's not super Valentine's Day themey because I knew I wasn't going... Well, I knew there was a possibility I might not have it out on time. So it's more like love, shabby chic, rose type theme. Um, it may say Valentine somewhere, but it's like in the background. It's not anything that's predominant in the journal. Um, and love to me is year round, right? And I did... Um, I did also use some of her Pretty Florals kit as well. So Blushing Blooms kit I chose to work with, um, and it's about a year, well, it's a little over a year old now, um, but it's such a beautiful kit that I really uh, wanted to work with it and um, bring it some new life. <laughs> um, because uh, sometimes we forget about our creators' old kits, like the creators we love and their older kits, and they're so beautiful, and um, I wanted to showcase that kit. I also wanted to let you know that um, she is having a event, a collaboration event with Dear Julie Julie right now uh, called Five Days of Easter. This is the hashtag that you would follow. You could type this in the description box in YouTube or in Instagram. Um, and you can follow along and see what everybody else is making. I am not part of that collab this year. Um, it was a personal choice uh, just to catch up on some other things that I'm working on. Um, I'm sure I'll do it next year. I'm, I'm really sad that I'm missing out, but I can always do it next year. And... Uh, I wanted you guys to, to know and have the opportunity to follow this hashtag because there are some really amazing creators part of that team. Not all of them are design team members, they're just joining in and they're still just amazing crafters too and some of them still trying to build their channel. Um, so go check them out, show them support. Um, they're all amazing. Uh, also, I wanted to let you know that, um, if I didn't say it already, <laughs> she is having 50% off of her Easter kits right now. Um, so hopefully when I get this up, she'll still have that for you guys. If you go over onto her, I know it's on her Etsy. I'm not sure if it's on her, her website. 50% off. I would assume so. Um, she does have Etsy and a personal website now and it's gorgeous. Her website looks so beautiful. I don't, it's, it's gorgeous. She did an amazing job on her new website. And you go over there and now and get the free printables. Um, you can also sign up for her newsletter. She's got a monthly newsletter and it's also very lovely and um, you can have the link sent to your email for all the free downloads that she makes for our journals. And they're so, so beautiful and um, versatile and oh, I love them. I love using them. I save every single one in my computer and I use them often. So they're worth going and downloading and as well as her beautiful kits. Also, I wanted to let you know that she still has graciously done for design team members to allow us to give you guys a discount code for her kits. Uh, it's design team 30 and it gives you 30% off you guys on Etsy and her website. So that's still going on, um, and I think that's 
so amazing that she does that. Um, and her kits are worth it. So um, anyways, let's go ahead and jump into this journal. This journal uh, is um, it has the five five um, five point pamphlet stitch or however you say that it's it's got five holes <laughs> when you do the signature and it is four signatures it is um, has this lace here on there on the spine uh, and some buttons in pink and cream and then a pretty little rose button there and then um, I want to tell you the dimensions. It is uh, five, about five and three quarters this way, and then nine, about nine and three quarters tall, and about a three inch spine. Um, I had lots of good room in here to chunk it up um, when I was done uh, binding it, and I chunked it up. It is chucked full. It is kind of billowing, but it it is um, pretty expandable. It is a hardcover, but it does have um, some some padding to it. Uh, I did add the uh, really pretty gold corners and the wider uh, eyelet detail, and then I just layered um, a homemade yo-yo by me and all these little pretty like appliques and uh, laces. It is patchworked um, on the front and just some peeking detail and it's kind of just um, kind of uh, shaggy here, you know, um, fringy, that's the word. <laughs> and I used um, some, some uh, cut up pieces to in the background and it is like a floral um, and butterfly print in the background and you can see it a little more on the back because I kind of covered up a lot of it with this element but I think it it's it's lovely <laughs> if I do say so myself and this is the tassel here that I have it is on a binder ring and it is hooped on with a um, a piece of like velvety ribbon and that is sewn on there and then it the ribbon goes down the spine and hangs out the bottom here just as a fishtail um, and you can use those as bookmarks in the journal. Um, in this uh, there are some beads, some rose beads in the uh, tassel and some some charms too. I have like an infinity charm in here. Oh, and a cross with a heart in the center. Sorry if I was off screen. Um, and there's a, a butterfly with some little rhinestones in the center. And then there's this um, kind of a statement piece here with this larger charm here and some really sparkly beads. I decided to put that at the top because I wanted it to be seen and some of the material in here is used throughout the journal and it has some eyelash trim and some crinkly trim that makes it nice and fluffy and some sari silk so it's just really nice and lovely <laughs> and that's what it looks like from this angle. It's kind of dark on my screen. I wish I could do something, but it's, it is what it is. <laughs> I don't know how to, I don't want to wash it out either, so that may be better. Okay, and um, it is peaches, like rosy pink, um, very uh, Victorian velvety color. If you have that Distress Oxide, it's got a lot of that throughout. I did use this Distress, Distress Oxide and I used Ground Espresso um, and I also used um, Archival Ground Espresso as well in it. Um, 
um, but more so the Distress Oxide. So uh, this, did I show you the back? I don't know if I showed you the back. This is the back, so you can see more of the patch patches that I put on there. And then I have these um, pretty pieces cut out from like a tablecloth. And then you can see the butterfly. There is a little fuzz on there. There, let me get that off. And I love it. I love how it came out. Love, love, love. So, yes. And this is, as you can see, there's dangles. I made these. I have a, a key on the end of that one and some uh, pearls and a rose bead. And then I have some um, pearls and uh, bead caps and um, um, this, uh, these sparkly beads as well here. And then down here, I have um, clear pink and white shiny beads. And then this kind of uh, pokey, I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> like a little snowball. <laughs> and then a heart charm on the end. And then this one is attached to the, I did make a writing board this morning for it because I just thought it needed one. <laughs> and um, I somehow had missed, I have a rock back here because I was, I was angling it up forward for you. I somehow had missed one of her collage pages um, in uh, the mix and I used that for the writing board. Um, this is a pocket in the front. There we go. <laughs> it does have acetate, so you got to make sure you're, you're in the right spot there. But that is a pocket. And you could put a picture on a tag and put that in there like that. Okay. This is a washi sticker on there that I reinforced. Um, and uh, this is a stamped image and then lots of little little pieces there anyways let's go ahead and get it open huh and um i did use some gold gilding wax throughout as well and i used like um a rosy dusty rose colored thread throughout the whole journal and i'm going to get rid of the rock now that i opened it and oh, there's still some glare there because I have a clear pocket up front and in it I have a tag with uh, a butterfly in it. This frame was part of her kit. I just um, inked the back so it didn't look bad. <laughs> and then I have a little dangle on there and some eyelash trim and some Tim Holtz pieces and then it just has a journal card it says things I love about you and currently loving and that's this is Kara Brandon's um, paper lining the inside here and I just thought that, that looked cute there and there's a butterfly over here too and this is Kara Brandon's paper here I have a thread <laughs> that happens um, and then uh, this little ephemera piece is from Tsunami Rose. I'd used a couple of her little ephemera pieces and then I have like a little applique thing here. It's so pretty. And lined with lace along the side there. And this is a scrapbook paper. This is a printable linen that I coffee dyed. And here is um, a black and white print from Tsunami Rose. And I just stuck a feather in there because I thought it was cute. So I have a feather in there. And then I have this handmade ephemera piece that I made um, with the girls that I usually create with here on YouTube. And it's just got this little dangle of, of stuff here. Then I have a guest check in there as well. And I'm just putting that in there like that. 
and I think it looks cute. And then this is a pocket from Kara Brandon's kit, and I just embellished it. It says Spring Love, and um, a lot of these pieces are from her too. This and the and the label and the words it has a little paper tab here that I sewed on. It has a little bit of a coffee theme going on too because I just couldn't resist. Here is a um, tag that I kind of left a little plain which is unusual. Most of them are pretty decorated in here. <clears throat> but it just tucks there and I like how it kind of sits in that um, circled area there. And then I have some vintage labels here tucked in this vintage wallpaper. This is a wallpaper. And I have some lace at the bottom. This is um, a hand dyed paper. And then we have a vintage book page, which I love. And then this is a, um, a scrapbook paper that I turned into a pocket. And here is some ephemera pieces. I have um, this really pretty green paint chip card that I thought was fun because it had the holes and somebody could do something fun with that. This is plain for somebody to alter too. I just stuck that in there for, it's a bingo card from Kara. And then this is um, from Kara's kit that I made too. It's a uh, layered tag. And then I have a little rose down in the bottom. So that just goes in here. I have it kind of layered up. I'm all hands today. I don't know what my problem is. <laughs> and I have some sorry silk at the top. This is also Kara Brendan's printable. I love her lined digitals that she has. Um, and then this is Kara's here the birds and then um, some pink vellum and a ledger and this is Tsunami Rose. I thought that these rose pictures worked really well for this collection and this is Kara Brandon's background paper which is really nice to write on and then this is a hand dyed paper here. So I think this was uh, tea and tea and food coloring and then uh, there's this shorter paper these are actually from a traveler's notebook that I got and that I never used and I thought they looked cute in here it's kind of a peachy floral and I used a whale tail punch tab and it's got some lines on the back this is scrapbook paper as well and then I have a tab here with the material with really pretty pink roses. And this is Kara Brandon's printable here. And I have some little hearts in the center. And then that's the other side. And it's got cute little glasses. And then the heart doily. Some lace trim. Here's the other side of the um, rose. So pretty. And then this one um, flips out. Here's a vellum. Here's a lace pocket down here. And I have some Sweet Williams in here. They're actual seeds. <laughs> and then I have an ATC card that I made. Um, from a background I collaged and then I just layered up some elements on top. That one's not necessarily anything Kara Brandon but I thought it looked cute in here. And then there's the first dangle on that tab, the ribbon tab. And then in here I made two things. I have this here that I made. So like a little window made from an envelope and then I have a layer tag. Oh, I love this image and that's Kara Brandon and then it has a little tuck 
with a little tag inside. And I have a stamped image, two stamped images. One's a Tim Holtz stamped image and then this rose stamped image. And I just tuck that in there. Some eyelash trim on there. This vine trim on this one. So cute. And then on the other uh, side of the vintage page, I have a tuck spot here. And that's with all the elements in Kara Brandon's kits. Um, I have a just a journal card there. And I have a little envelope and it has some little pieces inside that you can journal on. And you can use this picture as well somewhere else if you'd like. It's just a pretty picture of some flowers. Just so pretty. So I just stuck that in there and put that right there. It's so cute. And that's a hand dyed paper as well. And that's a pocket. This is just sitting here so that you can take it and you can use it where you want to. Um, this is a large tag here. Let me get it out for you. Okay. It's a large tag. It's very sturdy. Okay. And it's layered up with her ephemera here and her ephemera here. I think this one, this one is part of Pretty Florals. And then this is, I don't know which, but that's Kara's. I know it's Kara's. I don't, just don't remember which. I need to reinforce this little sticker because it moved. It. So it doesn't move there. Yes, it says joyful. Okay. So that's plenty of, of writing space on the back there. And then it's also plenty of writing space on the back of the big tag. And that's so cute. I love how that turned out. And I kind of like staggered the stuff there. This is a stamp. And then that can just... And I did a pretty stitch on this one too with my sewing machine. So I was, I was being creative with the sewing there. So I just stuck this just like that and that stays there. If you want to move it, you can. Here's some coffee print, some, a tab. Here's a ruffle here, some coffee dyed um, print here. Another Kara Brandon here. And then another Kara Brandon here with a um, a side tuck and then I have um, just a plain little tag here with a whale tail and then a little ephemera piece that says my checklist and a little Tim Holtz flower and some trim. It's cute. Really um, shabby chic. It's a doily some more coffee dyed linen, black and white, a ruffle yeah, on scrapbook paper, and then this vellum, and it looks so pretty with Kara Brandon's print behind there. That's Kara Brandon's. It's got a little paper tab. And then we have this here. This is more wallpaper. And then I made this little thing here. See if I can get it out. Okay, there it goes. Um, it has this. It's a it's a pocket, and it's made with this is Tim Holtz here, and then um, the background paper is Kara Brandon's, and this is Kara Brandon's as well. You can write. This is um this is a stamp, and that's her label, and then you can just stick that right in there. I like how that turned out where the rose is right there. And um, when you turn the page, this is a, a top tuck. And I, I stuck this journal card over the edge and this um, journal piece here. So you can journal on there. It also has some stenciling. So that goes in there and that goes like that. 
and you can move it around, of course, wherever you want to. So that goes like that. And there's a hand dyed paper. Here's a dictionary page. And I think I used the word, the one with the word fancy on it because I thought it was a fancy journal. And look, there's that beautiful rose image. I love it. I love it. And there's, um, there's a copy of some um, lace paper. There's another, and I used um, the wallpaper for the tab there. And there's some, um, that's part of the, that little traveler's notebook I had that I tore apart. And then that's Kara Brandon's paper. And that's Tsunami Rose, one of her roses. And this is a uh, scrap of paper that I, again, turned into a pocket. And in this pocket, um, I used Kara Brandon's Big Butterfly die cut and um, used it as a tuck with some vellum and some layered torn pieces and um, a branding strip. And then in that one, I have a little envelope. And inside, I have some little pieces. Again, some scrap of paper and a little piece of floral. And that just tucks back there. You can move it around if you want, but that's where I stuck it. <laughs> and then I have another piece I made here, just a journaling card uh, with some lace. And then I have this piece here that you can journal on that has a teacup or a coffee or whatever you want to use it for. And then uh, it has a pretty image on the back. And I just liked the teacup sticking out. And then I have a, <clears throat> excuse me, a stencil that I did right there. So that just tucks. And I used a floral punch. I used a different punch on almost all of them, the pockets I made. So there's several different looks and variations. And then I have this little tabbed area on a ledger. Um, with the applique and then here's hand dyed paper there's another little um, dangle and that's the center I have some more hearts um, in the center and the other side I put some coffee themed paper in here and this is also stenciled and then I used a little frame I got from Xena here, from the Sassy Crafter, and put a um, background paper with a little uh, rub on there, and the little uh, uh, sewing finding flower. I don't know what they're called. That's what I assume they're called. I don't know. And then I just used a, like a little snippet of some scraps there, and that's Kara Brandon's ephemera and paper and that's more of the scrapbook paper more of the um, rose from tsunami rose and more Kara brandon's another whale tail punch um, there's Kara brandon's again with really pretty rose buds and that butterfly and there's this this also has fashion on that with paper too and then, <laughs> excuse me, another hand dyed paper with some pink lace on the edge. And then this is a top loading pocket. It is clipped on here. This is clipped on. And it's a little heart clip. See, little heart clip. And then I made this little um, ephemera piece with Kara Brandon's stuff and then I also made this pocket window thing <laughs> and you can write on the back and it has some more stenciling and you can just slide it in there I have a just a tag from Kara Brandon's kit with some scrapbook paper on the back and that just goes here And 
That looks cute on that paper, the little bird. And that's Kara Brandon's kit there. And this is Kara Brandon as well. I love this print in the background too. Some vellum. Um, a beautiful sari ruffle with some scrapbook paper. Some black and white kit from Tsunami Rose and Len Lennon. And then um, this is actually a piece from done by Dorothy's kit. It's actually from her, uh, what's it called? Um, Kindred Spirits kit. And I just thought the color and the grunge of it was cute with this kit. So I pulled that one piece in. And then I have a little tab. Kara Brandon, this is her, um, I think this is part of her Valentine collection that she had, um, but it doesn't say Valentine's on it. It just says heart and this is love. This is really pretty. And again, this is the next signature. These are the little um, ribbons from the tassel that are hanging, um, that velvet ribbon with a fishtail on the end. And you can use it to bookmark places if you want to. And then, there's um, Cara Brandon as well, part of her kit, and this is a little, I think I left this so you could tuck something there if you wanted to. And a little piece there, and that's Cara Brandon's lines, and there's a, um, another heart doily and some black and white with a ruffle. I love this ribbon. Oh, it's so pretty. And then um, a scrapbook paper. Here is um, a page from a, a rose book. So I got some pink roses in here and I glued this in so that you have a little writing area. And then I glued this little uh, cute ephemera tag from her kit at the top there, kind of like a little col collage of things on there. And then this um, tab I layered up with some leftover lace piece and, and a leftover piece of trim. And then there's a pretty rose there. This is a hand dye paper. This is mica paper, so you might want to um, write with it with a pin or a marker that you don't care about or, um, or put something like a picture there and put a piece of uh, paper that you write on because the mica could could mess up your pins and I wouldn't want I wouldn't want that to happen so um, but it's so pretty and so sparkly I wish you could I wish you could see the shine on it it's really pretty and it's really shiny down over here in this corner and then here's another piece of the um, little traveler's notebook and the tab. Here's another Cara Brandon. This one's part of our pretty florals, I'm sure. This one um, did end up upside down, but I don't think it's, it's, it doesn't look bad or anything, so it's not a big deal. There, these words are upside down, but you can, you can strategically cover that up, and it's not super noticeable and sometimes even people have printables that are have upside down elements so it's not it's not a super big deal if you ask me um this is a piece a of the pink vellum here's another floral page this is kara's lines journal lines and then we have a, a digital linen that's been coffee dyed Scrapbook paper. Here is a, another large tag here with a little sticker in the corner that I made with Cara Brenda's kit. There's a little charm at the top. Lots of charms in here too. And then there is a cute little card with a teapot. And then you can journal in there. So that's just in the same pocket. Sometimes these, <clears throat> sometimes these little hearts get caught, so you got to be careful. And I think I'm gonna stagger that there. 
This is also Kara Brandon's printable or um, fussy cut element and I layered it up with some vellum and some scraps. It's really pretty. It doesn't do it justice on camera really. It's cute. And then I have this little journal card that I stuck right behind there. It's adorable. And some ledger, some dyed paper, and some little tuck spot just with a little scrap there. So that goes in there. And then this is a wallpaper pocket and it has a layered tag. I love how this tag came out. It's so pretty. It cares printable and this little piece is Tsunami Rose that I grunged up and then this is Kara's and then the background is Kara's and then that's Kara's lines so mostly Kara <laughs> and then it just goes right in there really sturdy tag and then this center is Kara's and um, then I have an envelope made with one of her, um, what is it called? Collage pages. <laughs> and it just tucks behind there. And I have some um, coffee dyed paper in there. I took my um, tab punch and I punched the um, opening, the thumb um, opening with the tab punch. I thought that was kind of fun. I've never seen anybody do that but I'm sure somebody's done that along the lines and then um, I just put a few elements on the front that I stamped on some paper this is loose so that you can move this around and glue this where you want that um, it's a piece of ephemera and then this here is Kara's tag and that's that's some of Dorothy's paper as well that from that kit um, and I just think that's so cute with the bird that landed on the back there. Uh, and we just put that there and put that there and you can move that however you want to. I have a little side pocket there that I made and some lace and this is the other dangle. And we have some ledger and then I just put a little sticker here down in the corner, clear sticker, and I have a little ephemera piece here with um, backed with scrapbook paper from Kara's kit. And then this has that same rose but smaller. Um, that's not Kara's and I don't remember whose it is, so I apologize. Um, this just went really well and so I have some copy dyed paper that I tri-folded and stuck in there and another um, pink, uh, what do you call these? Um, pink paint chip card. <laughs> words, people, words. <laughs> so that goes right there, just tucked. I like it like that. It's cute. And then um, I have this flip that I made in here. I love how it came out. It's super, like, just comfort. It's like, it's so soft. Like, it's not soft, but I don't know. It just gives you the feeling of soft, I guess. I mean, it's backed on a, a soft linen. But it's just some place where you can... Um, that's coffee dyed paper. Um, that it has and it's got some appliques. I love how it came out. <laughs> I don't mean to sound conceited. <laughs> and then... Um, then I have some lines here and then a beautiful rose from Tsunami Rose with the butterfly that just matched so well. And that has the pink vellum over it. This is that other side of the upside down picture paper, but you can't hardly tell. And then this side was more noticeable that it was upside down. So I made a, like a quilted pocket and layered elements on it from Kara Brandon and Tim Holtz. And then I have um, a shaker in the pocket, an envelope shaker. And then in the inside, do I have anything? I don't have anything. I need to put something in there. I'll put something in there. I will put something in there. I, I usually have something in everything, so that was weird. 
And then I have a little card, a little journal card that I inked up and put that there. And then I have another little Tim Holtz pocket with a Tim Holtz piece up there that you can tuck that in and it sticks out the top a little bit. And then I have a layered pocket over here. And again, oh no, this is, I was going to say again an envelope, but no, this is a little book of paper that you can journal on right there and then a tag from Kara and then another journaling card and it says this little story it's just plain on the back so you can decorate it how you want to and then here is a bag filled chuck full of goodies like things I didn't use, a couple of tags I didn't use, uh, a vellum um, rose because I, I just thought you needed to have one, some extra uh, whale tail tabs, um, a couple of these extra foamy hearts because they're so cute, and just just a bunch of little things in there. So that's, and then you can use the bag too. So. That's just tucked back there for you to use. And that's, that's some more of that mica paper. It's really pretty. And it goes so well with the rose across the way from it. And then have some journal lines there. The whale tail punch. And then some more beautiful pink roses from that paper. Scrapbook paper, black and white from Daisy. There's some lines from Kara and a cute little tag that I layered up. Um, it's a tuck, so I put a small tag in the corner and made it a tuck, and that's a piece of her kit too. And then I stamped on some, these, when you see these, I stamped on some um, muslin, and I used those. And then it's a little felt heart, or not heart, flower, some stamping, <clears throat> Kara Brandon's kit there, and I just used a little envelope um, paper clip there, and then that's Kara Brandon's kit, and this is Kara Brandon's kit, the rose, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And that's uh, done by Dorothy, that same paper again, that I just thought was pretty to write on. And then um, this is the black and white from Daisy. This is actually um, my friend um, Zena the Sassy Crafter. She um, did this printable and she has it in her shop. She's just new to doing printables, so this was her first um, thing that she put in her shop and has in her shop and it's really pretty it has a peony in the background it just looks lovely especially next to this wallpaper it's got the yellows and it's got the the pinks so it worked out really well so I stuck it in there and then I have a Kara Brandon piece here in this wallpaper that I have made pretty <laughs> prettier. <laughs> Some more um, mica paper. Mica stained. And then a ruffle here and a doily. Uh, linen that's been coffee dyed. And uh, part of that book it says roses and fuchsia or fuchsia or I don't know how to say that. Fuchsia. Fu fuchsia. I don't know say that flower. <laughs> I'm saying it wrong, I'm sure. And then um, another rose image here behind the vellum. And then a tab. And there's Kara Brandon's lines with a little butterfly on the corner. It's so cute. And then we have a, um, a gold foil, sorry about the glare, <laughs> scrap of paper that I have this really cute beaded 
um, trim down here. And then I made this tag. It was an image from a magazine and it was just so cute. I had to put it in here. I made a tag out of it with the elements. And then it has a little rose on the back for journaling. This one doesn't have um, <clears throat> an edge punch. I left this one plain. And it's cute. And then there's Kara's lines. And her ruffle. And there's her page two with the little cameo. So pretty. And then I got a page there. Some coffee dyed paper in the middle. Some hearts. A tab. Another whale tail tab. Kara Brandon. Kara Brandon. This one's pretty florals. This is, um, not from Kara Brandon. It's from something else, but I just thought it looked so pretty there. And then I made this here. It's this pink piece is Kara Brandon and, and then, uh, the, the label is, and then some other elements. And then I have this in here. This is from somebody else and I don't remember who, um, but it just, it just fit her kit so well. So I made that little card. And then I made another um, layered tag with Kara Brandon's kit, and it's got a cute little um, journaling spot in there. It goes this way, and that beautiful rose, and all her little, her little pieces, and that's also hers on the back. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. I loved working with the pretty pinks. Loved working with it. Oop, oop, oop. It's getting caught on the rhinestones. So there we go. I kind of like to leave it up a little bit actually so you can see her little head peeking out there. It's cute. And there's Kara's lines again. Pretty flower and a pretty butterfly and a ruffle. And there's Tsunami Rose's rose paper, vintage paper, and coffee dyed, doily, hand dyed. Here's another one of those like little specimen cards. I used her little um, frame again, and I used the Dollar Tree um, butterfly, and I laminated it and put a little dangle and some trim and some little elements on there from Tim Holtz and uh, I have it on there with a paper clip and this is a layered tag that I did with Kara Brandon stuff and I have another little journal card in there that you can journal on and a little layering there a little rose on the back and then I have a little notes paper in there and it just goes upside down in there. And then that goes here, like that. And that's with the vintage wallpaper. And there's the other side of um, my friend's digital. And I had to put some Sari Silk on her digital because she's the one that got me into Sari Silk. This one is fun. This is the last page. It um, has a clip here. It's a belly band or cummerbund or whatever you want to call it and it flips open so that you can journal. I did a little wonky wiggly stitch and um, that's her print in the uh, inside and then I have um, a floral print um, and some rose and just some scraps layered up and some lace and in the in, in that belly band or cummerbund whatever you want to call it <laughs> is a Kara Brandon tag that I just thought was super cute in there. And then I have a piece of ephemera from somewhere else that I just layered back there with it. Looks cute together. And then that's Kara Brandon's. And then I made a um, writing board for inside. I just stitched around it and I did some gold gilding on the edge um, and that's her print as well in the back and then I have a dangle on that it's uh, a little hand and it has a little love heart 
So I love how this came out. I really do. I had so much fun um, working with this uh, shabby chic stuff. <laughs> It was so fun. I'm just, I think I'm going to keep going on like this shabby chic kick. So, um, yeah, I love it. And it's tied with some sari. Um, it looks like that's ripping. I'm going to replace this piece. I don't know why that ripped. Well, that's a bummer. I'm going to replace that piece. So don't worry about that. I have plenty and I'm going to replace it. I'll replace it now. <laughs> well, I'm glad it happened for me, not somebody else. I love sorry silk though. Get that trimmed up. And I like how shaggy it is, but we don't want it ripping. <laughs> I'm going to um, include this little Thing here so you could put a picture there and I'm just going to put this back there so that you have it to put a picture in the front if you want to and there you just tie it it is a tight fit in there but it all fits and if you want it to be smaller you can take the book board out of there or you can take some of the ephemera out if you want but it's I love it the way it is and hopefully you guys do too and hopefully somebody wants this for their home I'm going to put all the links down below for um, the people I support and um, also I'm going to put the link down for this journal if somebody wants it. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Sorry it was so long. I might throw a short version up where it just flips through quickly for those who want to look quickly. Um, just a sped up version. Uh, and thanks so much. I'll talk to you guys later. God bless. Love y'all. Bye-bye.